Good morning, everyone. Well, it's afternoon, sorry. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press that like button. Please do subscribe. It is Friday afternoon. What did my mum say to me earlier on this week? What did my mum say to me earlier on this week? I'll probably see you later on in the week, she said to me. Then that all, that palaver with my bank. I still haven't got my PIN card number yet. And obviously that guy didn't order a replacement card. I've just passed the post lady. There's no post today in my mailbox. Fortunately, if I wanted to use my card, I can use contactless, right? I also can buy things over eBay and Tesco using my card number because it has not been cancelled. Either I was lied to or he he didn't do anything when I went out to Chatham the other day. He hasn't done anything at all. It's just a funny Irish accent over the phone. Um, so my mum said to me, that she'd probably see me later on this week. So I can't get any cash out the cash point. And we're talking about me, Crystal, in Rochester, not my mother in Chatham. Now I've just received an answer phone message from my mother, and I don't know if she's been taking something, but it just is a weird message. Just weird. she's had too many painkillers new message received today at 11 about what's happening to me and now she's talking about everything that's been happening to her and whatever and she's either had too many painkillers or she's been drinking that was a befuzzled message that I don't really understand and it's not funny what's happening to me when I go outside is not funny it's not a game someone needs to grow up they're nearly 80. So I got that message when I'd come back from walking Max. I'd walked into a waft of cannabis, drugs, and I have now got um, a, a sore throat and it's gone right down to my lungs and I've got a pain in my lungs, not the heart, the lungs. I've got a pain in my chest from breathing in all that cannabis behind those blocks of flats opposite me. Um, I keep saying to myself, Crystal, wear a face mask and I forget. Uh, what it does is it makes me feel dizzy, disorientated, and my head becomes mixed up. I can't think straight. And that, I remember that I'd walked into that cannabis and that car could have backed into me, couldn't it? That car could have reversed into me or run over Max. And it all started with a message from Flirt Finder from a man with straggly, greasy, grey hair. And the woman that was driving that car had sleek, long black hair. I haven't got long hair, it's short and it's red at the moment. Um, I went
went on to the field apart from that one bloke with the baseball cap over his head sat on the bench there was nobody else on that field at all um, I went out of my flat I threw rubbish into the bins and the bins in these flats stink a poisonous aroma of like ammonia is coming out from one of the bins it absolutely stinks the fuck it hasn't been washed out and cleaned it stinks of ammonia now the guys have washed those bins out over there where the large lady lives they've washed in their apartments bins but these bins don't like they look like they've been washed in a long time they stink inside absolutely reeks you lift up the lid and you nearly pass out with the stink of ammonia so I put my bin bag in the bin gasped for breath walked across the path behind the back of some flats and I could smell drugs started to get sweaty and hot and dizzy kept myself together walked onto the field Builders coming off the field, there was a, a family putting newspapers over their head, newspapers, they'd gone into the co-op, gone into the co-op where I had that incident with Charlie and Kim, so they came out of the co-op, put papers over their heads, and of course what happens if you put paper on your head and it's raining? What is it? Newspapers full of black ink. So what's going to happen if you put a newspaper over your head in the rain? All the ink is going to go down your face. And they're putting newspapers over their heads, not mine. Why would you put a newspaper over your head when it's raining? That's just absurd. That's weird. They come out of the co-op where Kim had called me a dog crystal dog she called me and that's where they were coming out of the co-op with newspapers over their head well she didn't actually call me crystal dog she said I'm going to put you under my phone as crystal dog So someone's got my phone number, and I gave that lady in the co-op my phone number, and is abusing it, and making fun of me, and sending obscene, rude, disgusting messages. And I wouldn't have thought a woman would have language like that, either. <laughs> disgusting language. Absolutely vile and disgusting. It's someone that is mentally unstable. I came off the co-op, there was a man washing the windows with a long telescopic pole and a mop on the end of it, washing the windows at the travel lodge, which is opposite the co-op. And then I came back into my flat and I'm going to, um, I'm going to cook my lunch for dinner. Um, I have money in the bank and I can get Tesco deliveries. I don't have to go into that co-op and tolerate being victimised and bullied in there. Um, someone sneezing, bloke sneezing. Um, so I don't have to go in there and put up with that. And I've got cash because my uh, phone credit is going to run out today. But I'm not topping it up today, I'm going to top it up tomorrow. I've got a sore throat from inhaling cannabis and those bins need cleaning because they're a health hazard. Absolute health hazard. Just stinks of ammonia, which is a chemical, isn't it? Ammonia comes from dog and cat piss. So when, a, if, when you throw cat litter in the bin, it's full of cat piss and ammonia and sometimes the cat litter leaks into the bin. Um, but the council is responsible for keeping the bins clean 
and they absolutely stink. The stench is terrible. Anyone with, with asthma, I mean, they're going to end up in hospital breathing all that shit in. They are. I forgot to buy myself a, a face mask. I'm going to have to buy some when I next go out. My mum is nearly 80, nearly 80, and this is a game. It's a game. She sounded off her head. Off her head. It's all happening to her. This, this, she thinks that she's doing these videos, right? It's all happening to her. While well, she sat on her bottom, and I'm going outside experiencing all this. She sounded drunk. I don't know if she drinks or she takes drugs, but that was not a normal message. See you later.